all right what's going on guys so this video this is going to be a two-part video the first part which is this one I will be covering very basic information about ESP32s uh, it's a family of my controllers like I mentioned in the previous video um, in the next video I will get into specific pins on how to connect ESP32 with ultrasonic sensor which was uh, our selected sensor among those three sessions that I covered in the previous video and I will also add two websites uh, down below the first one is ESP32 is main website second one includes uh, a lot of projects which I use for reference uh, includes lots of projects for ESP32 and also Arduino which is very similar in some ways to ESP32 and, and it includes different projects specific information it's very good so check those out now this one is from this information that I got is from their website uh, it mentions some information like operating temperature is between negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius um, has low power consumption has uh, various state-of-art features including fine-grained clock rating different power modes, dynamic power scaling. Minimal PCB requirements while adding significant significant functionality to projects. So it's always a trade-off between uh, how much PCB requirements a microcontroller has for if you want to build different projects versus its uh, functionality, how much functionality it adds to your project. So it seems like I haven't done a lot of projects with uh, ESP32, but it seems like it's uh, it's a good balance between those two. Uh, interface with other systems to provide Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality through its SPI or UART interface. So now I'll, I want to define some of these terms. Uh, might be confusing at first. So clock, power power scaling, SPI, and UART. So what is clock? Clock signals in microcontrollers, they rule how fast processors execute instructions and the time required for analog signals to be converted to digital signals. Obviously, they must be present in any device that needs to operate on a um, schedule. It's more complicated than that, these definitions, but I try to make it as short and as informative as possible. Power power scaling increasing output power while keeping other variables constant. SPI stands for Serial Peripheral Interface, which th sends data between microcontrollers and other components like sensors, SD cards, and etc. And uses selected data lines to talk to a specific device. UART. So if you look on the left here, you have the controlling device, and on the right we have the receiving device. Controlling device example of that could be uh, CPU uh, which is uh, transmits parallel data. The first the role of first UART uh, calling it's called the transmitting UART is to convert parallel parallel to serial data and the serial data um, are transmitted through uh, like a wire to the second UART, second UART is called the receiving UART, converts serial to parallel data and sends it to the receiving device. And UART stands for um, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Now we want to connect the ultrasonic sensor to ESP32. Um, I will be covering that more in the next video, part two, uh, but for now, it's important to know that if you've ever worked with um, Arduino and you have, you're have you familiar with the libraries, you can uh, use those or it's going to be very similar for ESP32. So you can use uh, Arduino IDE for programming. You can also use other um, IDEs, but if you it's going to be very easy with uh, Arduino. Now, I made this online. I I'm sure it's not 100% accurate um, if you want to actually um, run the ultrasonic sensor with 
ESP32. It's not going to look like this, the circuit, but it's just good for like somehow understanding how it works. It's not 100% wrong. For, um, I'm sure you know by now, but for um, ultrasonic, we have four pins. Uh, the first one on the left, BCC, which is five volts, runs at five volts. Uh, the second input on in the middle, um, it's a uh, it's called trick, with trick, which is the input. Next, we have um, echo, which is the output, and GND, which is ground. Has to be connected on this board, and also the ESP32 will be connected, and you will have uh, to use other components, not specifically resistors. We have them here, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be slightly different. You will need resistors, but it's not going to look like this. The circuit will not look like this. And, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention for ESP32, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's a family of microcontrollers. So there are different types, 30, 36. We will most likely use uh, the 36 pins, but that will also be covered in the next video. So see you there.